In a significant achievement, Chandrayaan III, a moon mission, created history by becoming the first to land in the lunar South Pole region. This marked India as the fourth country to successfully land on the moon. Without going into too much technical detail, let's explore this incredible journey. Chandrayaan-3 has not just stopped at landing, it has been actively exploring the moon's secrets. In this presentation, we'll take a closer look at what Chandrayaan-3 has discovered so far and why these findings matter in understanding the moon's history. But before we get into that, let's talk about a remarkable video. It captures the Pragyan rover making its descent to the lunar surface, observed by the Vikram lander. This video, recorded by a camera on Vikram, helps the lander keep an eye on its surroundings and communicate with the Pragyan rover. As you watch the video, you'll see the Pragyan rover carefully descending from a ramp on Vikram's belly. It's a slow and cautious process as it approaches the moon's surface, with the Vikram lander overseeing the entire operation. One interesting thing to note is that due to the vast distance between Earth and the moon, there's a delay of about 1.3 seconds in sending a command from Earth and receiving a response. That's why both the lander and the rover are pre-programmed to perform this operation autonomously, relying on their onboard computers and sensors. This video is proof of how well the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover work together as a team to achieve this historic feat. After safely landing on the lunar surface, the Pragyan rover captured an incredible image of the Vikram lander standing on the moon. This image, taken by the Pragyan's navigation camera, shows the lander with its four legs firmly planted on a flat area near a small crater. You can even spot its main engine at the bottom, which helped it land gently on the moon. Now, let's shift our focus to another exciting aspect, a video showing the Pragyan rover navigating on the moon's surface. This video, recorded by the rover's navigation camera, shows the six-wheeled Pragyan rover moving across the moon using solar energy as its power source. The Pragyan rover plays a central role in the Chandrayaan-3 mission, exploring the lunar South Pole region, conducting experiments, and collecting data. However, moving on the moon is no cakewalk. The Pragyan rover faces challenges such as the moon's low gravity, rugged terrain, dust particles, and extreme temperatures. Here's how it overcomes these obstacles. Low gravity. The moon's gravity is only one-sixth of Earth's, which means the rover weighs much less there. It can jump higher and farther, but has less traction and stability. To deal with this, the rover has a special suspension system and a speed limit to prevent accidents. Uneven terrain. The moon's surface is full of rough terrain with craters, hills, and valleys, making it difficult to find a smooth path. The rover uses sensors, cameras, and algorithms to map the terrain and plan safe routes, along with a hazard avoidance system to detect and avoid obstacles. Dust particles. Fine and sticky lunar dust can cover everything on the moon's surface, affecting the rover's instruments and components. The rover has a dust protection system with brushes, blowers, and heaters to keep things clean. Extreme temperatures. Lunar temperatures can swing drastically from minus 156 degrees Celsius at night to plus 121 degrees Celsius during the day. To handle this, the rover has a thermal control system with insulation, radiators, and heaters to maintain a safe temperature. As you can see, the Pragyan rover is a smart and resilient machine, capable of surviving the moon's harsh conditions. It's also an inquisitive explorer, uncovering new aspects of our natural satellite. Our journey takes us to a graph displaying the chemical composition of lunar soil. The Pragyan rover's instrument, Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy, LIBS, helps determine the elements present in the soil. This analysis focuses on the South Pole region, which differs from other lunar areas. Finally, we delve into the temperature measurements of the moon's surface, courtesy of the Vikram lander's Chandra's Surface Thermophysical Experiment, CHASE. 
This instrument helps understand the temperature changes on the Moon's surface. The chase measurements reveal a stark contrast in temperatures within the South Pole region. Lunar surface temperatures vary from a bone-chilling minus 156 degrees Celsius at night to a scorching plus 121 degrees Celsius during the day. This underscores the South Pole's status as one of the Moon's most extreme climate zones, posing significant challenges for exploration. In conclusion, Chandrayaan III stands as a remarkable achievement in lunar exploration, deserving of praise and admiration. India's contributions to space innovation are commendable. If you found this presentation fascinating, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more engaging content on space and science. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions about Chandrayaan III. We eagerly await your insights. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey and stay tuned for more discoveries.